Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family, back with another video. Today we're going to be testing out Tesla's summon feature. What is summon, you ask? Well, summon feature is a feature that you get when you either subscribe to or buy out the full self-driving package. And what you can do is you can use the Tesla app here and you can either back your car out of the garage or push your car back into the garage without even having a driver in it. There's been a lot of updates to Summon since it first came out a couple of years ago. Most recently, there's actually Smart Summon or ASS. Check out that video linked above where I test out ASS in a shopping center nearby. But for today, we're gonna be testing Dumb Summon. Basically what it is, the cars go forward, they go backward, they don't navigate parking lots. Over here, I've got my 2018 Tesla Model 3. I've owned for six years now. It has the hardware version 3 on it. My Model 3 got an upgraded computer when I purchased full self-driving in 2020. It's a slower computer with 9 lower resolution cameras, a narrower field of view, and 12 ultrasonic sensors. And over here we've got my brand new Tesla Model Y with the hardware 4 package or AI4. The Model Y has a faster computer with 8 higher resolution cameras, a wider field of view, that shows more vibrant color and is better at night. It does not have ultrasonic sensors. It uses vision only. They're both running the same software. We've got full self-driving version 12.5.4.2 on both cars. Let's test out whether or not hardware three or hardware four does better with the summon feature when they're both running the same software package. But before we do that, let's go inside and check out the garage dimensions so I can show you what we're working with. All right, here we go. So we've got a two car garage here. Both of these are spec to be eight foot wide doors, but let's take a measurement and see how wide we're really working with here. So our garage door opening is actually 93 and a half inches wide. So that's what we're working with on both sides. The Model Y here with the mirrors folded is 77.9 inches wide. It's 83.8 inches with the mirrors extended. So we definitely have plenty of room to work with. When the Model Y is going through this opening, we've got about seven and a half inches with the mirrors extended and eight and a half inches with the mirrors folded. When someone is activated, the mirrors are folded. The Model Y is about an inch and a half wider than the Model 3, so we've got plenty of room here with the Model 3. Its dimensions are 76.1 inches with the mirrors folded, 82.2 inches with the mirrors extended. We've also got plenty of depth here in the garage. This side of the garage here where the Model Y is parked is about 22 feet long. This side where the Model 3 is parked is about 19 feet long. Both cars are just a little bit over 15 feet in length. So, uh, you know, definitely plenty of room for the cars when they pull in. In fact, I've already installed a couple of these two by four stoppers and we use these when I'm actually just driving the car in the garage so we know exactly how far to pull the car in they're about four to five feet off of the front wall now someone isn't really going to need to use those but it'll be nice to have those there so we know exactly where we should be releasing the summon button right now summon works by a continuous press but in a future update tesla will allow summon and actually spark summon to work with just a single press of the button in the app also behind us, the garage doors are both already open. Currently, Summon cannot open the garage doors by itself, but in a future update, we will be able to open the garage doors. All right, guys, I got the app fired up. Let's go ahead and back out the Model 3 with the older hardware version first, and we'll see how that does. All right, here we go. Clicking Summon. Connecting. All right, press and hold controls to move the vehicle. I'm gonna stand behind it just to make sure that it comes straight back. Here we go. Mirrors are folding. Model 3 is coming straight back. This is great. Yeah, really no issues at all with that. I think that worked out pretty good. 
so we got the car pulled out all by itself and uh let's tr let's move over here to the model y next really i'm not going to be too surprised here i imagine the model y with the newer hardware is going to do just as well if not slightly better if you can do better <laughs> than the model 3 did here we go with the model y ready all right we are connecting to the model y all right it says press and hold controls to move the vehicle here we go coming straight back the mirrors are folding so with the Model Y, you'll hear it does have the pedestrian speaker making that alien sort of humming noise. But remember, it's an inch and a half to two inches wider and it's coming straight out. Yeah, no issues here. So both Teslas are able to come straight out of the garage without any issues at all. Pretty cool here with Summon. Now, let's just make sure that they can pull in all by themselves. So next step is we will be moving both cars back in. All right, now we're gonna move Model 3 in. Here we go in the Tesla app. Opening Summon again. And we're gonna click Forward here on Dumb Summon. The mirrors are already folded. Let's see. Just as a note, previous versions of Summon, really the car had a tough time pulling in between this tightness. The car had a tough time pulling in here with such a tight clearance. This seems to be a really good update here lately from Tesla on both the actually smart summon and summon. Okay. Looks like we've stopped about halfway in the garage. It's probably because I'm standing too close to the end. Let's move out of the way and give it some more room and see if it finishes. Okay, it is going to finish. That's good. So we will try to stay out of the way of the Model Y, let it move forward, and I release right here at the parking bumper. So, hey, Model 3 with the older hardware and same software update. You know, bravo to the Tesla software team for doing such a great job with Dumb Summon and with actually Smart Summon. We were able to move Model 3 in and out of the garage without even touching it. Pretty cool. All right, now it's time to bring Mando in, our brand new Model Y into the garage here. We're going to... We're already connected via Summon here in the Tesla app, and we're going to pull it straight forward. Let's get uh, our camera person, uh, Rachel, here out of the way also so we can see if we can get a nice, clean, full run at, at uh, getting the car all the way in here. Even pulling forward with, with the pedestrian speaker, you still get a uh, real low muffle here as a warning to anyone in, in the surrounding areas. Pulling straight in, that's great. I'd be really worried if it wanted to do a hard left or right. Okay, did a little bit of a stop, but hey, it's still moving forward. Just being extra safe. A little further, a little further. All right, wow, that was like nearly perfect. Probably couldn't have done it better myself, honestly. Uh, so bravo again to a Tesla team to get both of these older hardware and newer hardware Teslas working. All right, well, we saw both cars go in and out of the garage with no problem at all, really. I think we're letting the Teslas get out of this a little bit too easy. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of more of a challenge. On my Model Y now, I've added my QAT bike rack. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna check out that video when I release it. So the problem here with having a QAT rack on the back is the rear camera is slightly blocked now. We'll take a look at the touch screen to show you exactly what the car is seeing before we try to summon it back out of the garage. All right, so here you can see is the rear camera, and this rack isn't actually too bad. I've used another rack before from 1UP, and it had quite a bit more blockage. This Q at rack, though, does allow some good visibility, although there is blockage here, and the Tesla can pick up on that. So let's go ahead and try to back out Model Y and see if it will be able to do it with the rack on the back. I'll be quite impressed if it can. All right, we are connecting to Summon. So let's go ahead and try to reverse here and see if we get any error messages from Summon. Preparing. Wow, it's starting to come back. It's trying, and then it stopped. It says Summon complete. Any error messages? We'll try again. We're trying to back out. Preparing. A lot of brake flashing here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be able to do it. 
We'll try one more time. Maybe the third time is the charm. Is it even going to come back a few inches? The first time it came back a few inches. Nope. Definitely cannot use summon with a rack on the back. And this is also the case when you are using auto park. Wasn't able to use auto park today either. Uh, getting an error message on the screen when trying to do that earlier today. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. It was pretty cool. I mean, it seemed really almost too easy for these cars to back out on their own, at least when there was no blockage. Now, you saw how we challenged the car by adding on that bike rack here onto the Model Y Mando here, and it came back maybe a foot, foot and a half, and then it said, nope. Uh, so really, you cannot have any blockage of any of the cameras, and you need to have uh, a few inches of buffer on around the entire car. Uh, in order for it to, to be a complete success. Looking forward to maybe some more refinements as we get uh, further along here with software updates. Definitely gonna be cool to be able to integrate the opening and closing of these garage doors uh, with the Tesla app and the home like garage door openers in both of my cars or if you have that MyQ option as well, Tesla is saying that there should be MyQ integration in a future update. All right, so thanks for watching the video. Leave some comments below if you have any questions or maybe you want me to see me try to run another challenge. Hit that subscribe button for more from Tesla family. Thanks for watching the video. If you really liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to Tesla family channel here for free on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you soon. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and anyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. Check out more of our videos linked to the end screen of this video and on our videos, shorts, and playlist tabs. If you're on social media, like us on X and follow us on Facebook. Use my referral link to buy a new Tesla and get up to $1,000 off the purchase price.